Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the Angular route to support the page reload or the direct URL access when you deploy to a different environment. This might work in the local, but once you deploy to a production environment or any test environment, this stops working and I'm going to show you how to fix that. On my screen, I have opened up an uh, Angular project which is there in the GitHub repository. So this Angular project when I load it in the local, it works perfectly. I can navigate to a different route and then you know this is the project that I was referring to. So if I come here and download it, you might be already using it. So let's go and see what happens to the deployed version. So if I have deployed this to this environment and you know I can go navigate according to the navigation but if I reload, that's it, gone, it's not loading. Basically you know if I reload or refresh this doesn't work that's because the URL that you see in the URL it is considered as a direct file or the URL itself which is really not the case for Angular it's all about the uh, internal routing that happens there is only one file or a bunch of files there is no such physical file access in the URL that you saw okay so how do we fix that the same problem doesn't happen when you do it in local you can refresh it everything you can do so it's very simple let's open up the application in the visual studio code what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy paste the web.config file under the src folder so under the source i'm going to copy paste the, the web.config file which is already configured and i will shortly explain you what is inside that so i copy paste it and this is the file okay so basically this file okay it's it's there something is there in this file that is called url rewrite and url rewrite is a rule that you can add it through the ias but generally speaking adding something like this in ias is not preferable uh, because devops and other teams are involved for your application to do all this configuration so whatever you're trying to do in is you can actually do it through your webbro config file which is sitting inside your application itself so what we are going to do is we are going to create a webbro config file and you know write this rule what this rule says is ignore the url that comes the request that comes to download the svg file or the font files and if it comes to a different route, go and put it back to index.html. That's the URL rewrite. You would, you know, navigate back to this file, refer this file and load this file. So because of our instructions in this web.config file, when a request goes as a direct URL into the IIS, okay, so when you hit a direct URL which has lengthy one, this you this you know. A rule kicks in and then it puts back to index.html. After that, based on the routing configuration that we have done in the application, Angular will take care of it to bring back the components that is required for the route. Okay, so that's fairly simple. And uh, just putting the web config file is not sufficient. Go to angular.json and add that file so that when you build this file, also is literally copied in your deployed disk folder, the, the final folder. So I have manually copy pasted this webbro config file for the quick demo and after that if I refresh this it works if I go to a different navigation and then hit that navigation again which is equivalent of refreshing it works okay so this is how you have to fix this and it's really easy I hope you enjoyed this video and you you can able to fix it for your application as well and if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and thanks for watching see you in the next video thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel, like it, share it, comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon.